mixing it with experience as a practicing Orthodox Jew, mixing in meditations on sexuality, gender roles, and the conflict between his vegetarianism and his grandmother's cooking. Matthew throws hip hop, slam, poetry, and storytelling together in an onstage riot that's reverent and irreverent at the same time. He's silly, serious, a little bit flirty, and a little bit philosophical. And on top of that, his email is unorthodox Jew. That's the best of all. Yeah. Matthew. Oh my God, Sherilyn, in your quest for fame in San Francisco, I bet you'd never, you never thought you'd be playing hokey pokey on the stage with Danielle Willis. <laughs> 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 this is about being dysfunctional poets. It's called Nothing. And it's co-written with En Vogue. <laughs> when you asked, do I care that you're not a poet, I had to stop. Of course I care. I care that you'll never neglect me for hours scribbling on a napkin that you can tell your parents what I, that I can tell my parents what you do without adding at least he's Jewish, that each word you say is coming straight from you and not from your need to hit a vein every time you speak, to talk in iams and soliloquies, to say something different than anything that's ever been said. Because, baby, I am a poet, and I know what it's like. Each moment needs to be different. We're never happy with ourselves. We try, and we try, and we try. But when you wake up next to a poet, he or she will always try to get out of saying, I love you. Because it's so been done before. We look at you on Poets of the World, and as perfect as we are, you're the ones who really know. We're, you're the real people, and we're only in imitations. We're John Travolta and Mel Gibson following around bums to get the feeling of the streets. We're attracted to every cliche you say. That doesn't mean I'm not going to write about you, because I'm doing that right now. Each moment you're in the room, I'm making up lines. I love it when I make you speechless, because speechless is impossible for me to get right. I, because, baby, I am a poet and I know what it's like, and for each word I say, I throw a hundred more out, but we need to hold on to the words that still count. Someday, they're gonna find a word to sum up the word love, but until then, put your lips to my ear, breathe out, breathe in, and whisper to me, sweet, sweet nothing. Thanks.